Now to the crisis in public universities. More than 500 staff at Egerton University are on edge with the university's management issuing a notice on a declaration of redundancies next week. In a circular, the university has scheduled a meeting on Tuesday where the vice chancellor will disclose details of the redundancies. The notice comes as vice chancellors, education ministry officials and funding boards converged in Mombasa for the first biennial university's funding conference and proposed a raft of recommendations to bail out public universities that are sinking under debt and other problems. Marianne Nyambura now reports. For the last three years, Egerton University has been on its knees financially with a debt of more than 8 billion shillings. Out of the 30 public universities, Egerton is one of the worst hit as it pays its lecturers 57% of their salaries. A move that has pushed the staff into numerous strikes in an attempt to push for full payment. This is just the tip of the iceberg as now the university through a notice issued on the 23rd of February 2023 notified the workers to attend a vice chancellor's address on Tuesday 28th February this year. The agenda being to declare staff redundancies. The university's academic staff union official, Sigaton Chapter, have termed the notice a misguided move. Redundancy is the last resort. And where it happens and when it happens, it, uh, the reasons must be fair and must be justifiable. In the case of Egerton, we see nothing fair or justifiable in that proposal. This development comes as Egerton University Vice-Chancellor Professor Isaac Kibwage joined other vice-chancellors at the first university's funding conference in Mombasa to find solutions to pulling the institutions of higher learning out of the financial morass that has pushed them into pending bills amounting to 60.8 billion shillings. This as at February this year. The conference came up with a raft of resolutions that could see the varsities restore the lost glory. This includes writing off the pending pay-as-you-earn bill, amounting to 18 billion shillings, which is owed to the Kenya Revenue Authority, clearing the pending pension bill of 19.6 billion, which will be done in targeted installments, among other resolutions. The conference resolved that the University's Act of 2012 be amended to have the role of appointing VCs handed over to the respective university councils as opposed to the Public Service Commission. The universities are also encouraged to lease campus spaces, grounds and farms to raise rental income. With the limited funds in public universities, students who got the minimum university entry grade of C plus and above are not guaranteed to acquire government sponsorship due to the limited cash availed by the government. Sources say more than 30,000 university hopefuls are likely to be locked out of the sponsorship program, which means only 40,000 will be considered. We are not going to try placement to uh, the amount of money. I think placement will continue. We can place all the 173, but the funding part, we are going to fund the, the, based on the available funds. The new proposals will see school fees increased from the current 16,000 shillings to 48,000 shillings, but apply for first-year students from September this year. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.